Okay, so some cultural signifiers I found within this film is what food they eat, when they eat it, and who they eat it with. They eat very vibrant meals for Mexican cuisine that Martin makes. It's typically prepared very traditionally and contains ingredients such as a lot of fresh fruit, veggies, cacti, fish, and octopus. They all eat it together on Sunday evenings in their family home, and it's clear that these traditions hold a lot of value to them. For the second one, the scenes in which food is being prepared, I believe are often used as a mode of transitioning the audience into their family dinners where the heart of the movie, where the heart of the movie lies. This is where the most emotional scenes happen and where the family reconnects, showing that these meals they eat have the power to bring them together. I think they used food preparation to bring us to these scenes because throughout the film, preparing food for another person is used as an act of love, such as when Martin prepares lunches for April and when Carmen comes home and prepares a dish for her father from which she regains his sense of taste. These acts of love reflect the overarching themes of the film, such as family, love, and relationships. The method in which food is being prepared in this film also helps us get to know the characters better. For example, Martin prepares his food very traditionally, while Carmen prepares her in a more new age sense where she switches up the recipe and adds elements from different cultures. This shows us that Martin may have some more traditional values regarding more than just food, while Carmen may have some more youthful and non-traditional values, which are echoed later in the film. So how does gender influence the roles in kitchen setting? I interpreted this question in a couple ways as I wasn't sure if it pertained to the film or a more historical context. In this film, gender did not seem to play a huge role in the kitchen setting. Martin did make a few offhand comments about women, um, such as his daughters being chefs, but in his restaurant, he was shown to both have both men and women working in the kitchen. And at home, it was shown that both Martin and Carmen were preparing food. And although they did, did it in different styles, the film did imply that both of these styles were valuable. Cleaning wise, it did only show the daughters cleaning the dishes. However, I believe that that was less about gender and more about respect because the father was the one who had prepared the meal. And um, in historical context, in many cultures, including the ones displayed in this film, women have been and still are subjected to a lot of sexism when it comes to cooking and cleaning in the kitchen. Um, and personally, I obviously do not believe that gender should influence roles in kitchen setting. For the fourth one, what does food mean to me when displayed in a film? This is something I've never really thought about, um, and it took a lot of introspection on my part to come up with an answer that I was content with. But to me, seeing food displayed in a film brings about a sense of familiarity. Some movies are gonna be relatable to me and some inevitably will not be relatable to me. But no matter what, food is something I can connect with in a film. If it's seeing people share a meal, watching a dish bring back memories to a character, or even watching someone struggle with food-related problems, it all helps me feel connected to the characters and to the story in a unique way that dialogue and camera work just isn't gonna do for me. And one film that I consider to be a food film that others may not is Dirty Dancing. One reason I believe Dirty Dancing is a food film is that scenes involving food often help the audience understand many things about each character and it gives them a chance to sit down and talk to each other, which doesn't happen often in the movie. A good example of this is during one of the lunch scenes, um, food brings about, the food brings about a conversation regarding starving children in the world. Um, it shows the mother can be snarky and dismisses a baby. It shows that baby is educated and cares about political affairs. And it shows that her sister, Lisa, is more concerned with frivolous or what the movie would deem to be shallow things. And another reason I believe that Dirty Dancing is a food film is that um, food often helps transition the story. Um, the most well-known of these times that it does is that is when baby carried watermelons into a party where the staff is all dancing. This introduces her to the main, other main characters and it ultimately gets the conflict of the movie going. And although the presence of food is limited in the film, when it does appear, it's often it's always used as a tool to further the, to further the story. And that's why I believe that Dirty Dancing is a food film.